question two. The question can be what are your strengths? Now remember if this is a separately asked question then you need to elaborate elaborate expand on your strengths when you are asked tell me about yourself you are making your strengths are part of that answer but this question is separate you cannot make a strengths part of an answer strengths is the answer so you need to mention it in detail what could be the strengths the common strengths that you could mention are honest hard working self motivated how about adapting to new and challenging situations number 5 it could be i possess a unique problem solving ability when you say you are honest now this is a question where the focus is your strengths so if you just say i'm an i'm honest person now h when you pronounce h the h is silent so we say honest and we don't say honest but here we say hard working here h is not silent here in honest h is silent please remember that so when you say h is silent there's a vowel involved what are the vowels a e i o u okay so a e i o u whenever all of this alf alphabets are involved for example a as in aeroplane e as in elephant let's just take two examples an aeroplane an elephant an aeroplane an elephant a desk here the vowels are absent a parrot why are we using a here most of you know it this vowels are missing there is no a there is no e there is no i there is no o there is no u so we are using a before the, the word parrot but here because the vowels are involved a is there e is there that's why we are using n so because h is silent here we consider it as honest like this all right which is a one of the vowels so we say 
an honest person so you'll say I am an honest person or you can simply say I am honest number two okay we can use a red pen I am hardworking now remember if you are putting I am a then you need to say I am a hardworking person but if you're not putting I am a hard if you're not putting this word person then you should not put a so I am hardworking I am self-motivated I adapt to new and challenging situation so I am honest I am honest I am hardworking I am self-motivated I adapt to new and challenging situation I possess a unique problem-solving ability all right now if like I said before the focus is on strength so if you can just give a justification why are you uh, calling yourself honest you can ju give a justification like um, I believe This one we can use this. I'm honest. Uh, I like to be straightforward. Okay. I like to be straightforward. For example, if this is your only strength, this is how you're going to answer. Tell me something about your strength. Somebody asks you. You're going to say, I'm an honest person. I like to be straightforward. That is your simple and honest answer. All right. But if you have many of this, you don't have to give justification to each and every strength. You can give a justification to the last one or the first one. Uh, let's take an example. For example, a person has all of these qualities, all of these strengths. What I mean by justification is, why, why are you saying you are honest? Why are you calling yourself honest? So you need to give a justification. You need to justify as to why you are calling yourself honest. So um, what are your strengths? I am an honest person. I like to be straightforward that's your justification but if you have five strengths you're not going to give a justification for all five points you can mention all the strengths but give justification for the first point or the last point we're going to see how we are going to do it with the first point for example a person example Raghav Rao Mr. Raghav Rao has all of these strengths and so he wants to mention all of the strengths that he possesses so the question to him will be uh, Mr. Raghav Rao please mention what are your strengths his answer would be I am an honest person I like to be straightforward also I am hardworking self-motivated I adapt to new and challenging situations and I possess a unique problem-solving ability do you understand how a justification is given you need not mention it for each and every point but do mention it for one point at least then you make you add value to your answer all right but if hard working is your only strength then how do you answer that one how do you give a justification to that one you can say I am hard working I believe hard working hard I believe hard work is 
a key to success all right so i believe hard work is a key to success or i believe hard work is the key to success either way it is correct all right so that is the justification for hard working what about self motivated why are you calling yourself self motivated for example you attend an interview and you have not got through that interview do you get so angry for example you and your friend go for an interview and your friend gets through you did not get through for some reason are you so angry so jealous with your friend no because probably there is something more for you to learn there is more preparation for you to do and if you think that way if you think all right my friend has got through but in the next interview that i attend i am going to go well prepared and i am really going to crack the interview that means you have a self motivating attitude which is your strength is self motivated 